I've got a clip on the timeline here which is an After Effects composition. So it's all gone red, if I press the play button it's very probably not going to play. Yep, dropping frames like bilio. Actually if I come into After Effects and I do a RAM preview which is the way you do stuff inside of After Effects you'll find that it'll then play properly in Premiere but only while After Effects is open and the RAM preview is live. When you next open the stuff up, it'll go back to being stuttery. That's because Premiere and After Effects share the same sort of RAM. So if you've done the RAM preview in After Effects, it works in Premiere, but only for that session. So most of the time I'll come to an After Effects comp in Premiere and it'll be really irritating because some of them, if they get really, really complicated, and this is doing very little, but if it's getting really complicated, it actually takes quite a bit of time just to pop up with the frame. So it'd be quite nice just to replace that with a piece of video. You can do that using a feature called Render and Replace. If I right click on the composition and go to Render and Replace, I can now choose to uh, render this or make this up into some kind of format. I can choose for it to match the sequence size, choose for it to match the clip size, or choose a preset. I'm just going to do that individual clip. I'm gonna choose the format, which is one of these three. You can add others in. These output formats are pretty much the same ones you have using the project manager. I'm going to choose one of those for the moment. I'm going to leave it to go next to the original media. I could choose to go somewhere else. I'm giving it some handles. So the idea is that instead of doing the whole thing, I'm just doing the bit that's being used on the timeline. Off it goes, and then you have to wait for it to go off and render this clip. And what it's doing, like I said, is taking whatever's on the timeline there and making it up into something else and it'll take a little bit of time especially if this is a dynamically linked after effects composition but the idea is at the end of it you'll have something you can play now that i've rendered and replaced you notice that it's gone yellow and it plays back this by the way is 4k footage on a 4k timeline with a 4k dynamically linked composition so i'm making it work quite hard but the render and replace means that i can play it back and if I come back to this at a later stage, it'll still play it back. If I go back into After Effects and change something, then it won't be reflected here. So let's come back in. Let's take my clip that's a jaunty angle and move it over here. And come back into Premiere. And obviously, nothing has changed. What I've got to do to get back to the After Effects composition is right-click on the clip and say Restore Unrendered. So it goes back to being an After Effects linked composition. You just wait for it to update. And if you want to, you'll have to render and replace it again to get something that's playable.